So there are so many video conferencing tools out there for you to communicate with your friends, family and work colleagues. If you're locked inside, don't worry. I'm going to be going over some of the best video tools for you to communicate with other people. And don't worry, they're all free. Let's get started and straight into the video. Let's start with group FaceTime. This is built in on iOS 12 and later. So if you have an iPhone or iPad running iOS 12 or later, you can use group FaceTime. It's quite a new feature and not many people know about it. And it's the one I would recommend the most if you have an iPhone or Apple product. It also works on Mac. You have to basically add people with their Apple ID or their phone number that is linked to their iPhone and then you invite them in a call. As you would with a normal FaceTime, you search for the person you want to add and you add up to 32 people in a group FaceTime call, then you can make a call. It doesn't just stop here, you can add memojis and animojis, you can add effects, text and different things to your camera. And the more people you have, the smaller the windows will get of the people you can see. So if you have 32 people in a group, you will see about 5 or 6 on the main view and then underneath you'll see a row of all the other people and you can tap one of them to enlarge it. It's quite good, it's 100% free if you have an Apple product. It only works between Apple products and that is a major downside of FaceTime. Don't forget you can just use standard FaceTime as well and it also works with audio but we're really talking about the video side of things here. Next up, Skype. Now I'm not going to recommend this as possibly the best one because I don't think it is. However, it's a video service, it's quite a good one in some different ways. If you don't pay for Office 365, then you may be limited on what you can call and how many minutes you can call uh, each month. But if you do, or you just want to use it for free, you should be fine standard calling somebody through video. If you're a teacher, this may work well with your Office 365 as well. Now, this is harder to use, and Microsoft are always changing the design of Skype. I really wouldn't recommend it as much as the other products, but Skype you can try if you want you also don't have to have an app so if you want to call somebody who doesn't have Skype all they need to have is the invite link and they can just open that on a browser I might do a different video into looking into Skype soon in the free version of Google Hangouts you can chat to with up to 10 people for free and this is also on iPad and iPhone and also obviously the Google Play Store on any Android device so if you want to chat to someone between an iPhone and a Samsung Galaxy device for example this could be a really good way of doing it because obviously it works on both devices there are apps on the app store and the google play store and zoom you may have heard come up more on the news in recent blog posts and things like that it is a video conferencing tool it's a video chat tool and it's quite a good one too it lets you chat with up to a hundred other people on a single zoom video call on the free plan and i don't think you need any more than that really especially if you're just talking to a family or a, a friend so it's really good if you work from home because you can chat to your um, employees or your colleagues or your bosses or whatever you can chat to your whole workplace they may have already set this up for you if you're someone who does work but otherwise you can just use this to chat to people on an iPhone an iPad a Mac a Windows device um, an Android device as well so it's very universal and I think this is the best one for people who want to talk between different devices at once if you have a work PC or other people on Windows and you're on Mac it may be a good one also Zoom do phone systems and different things like that so you could get some actual physical devices and systems set up by their team but it's probably easier just to use a standalone device that you already have at this difficult time so there's one more I would recommend and that is WhatsApp it's by, it's by Facebook you've probably heard of it so you can send messages for free of course and WhatsApp allows you to call people for free through audio or video and of course you need an internet connection for this but it also works between Windows Phone it works on Android iOS WhatsApp web desktop Mac so many platforms it's available on and so it's a really good one if you have an Android and iOS user in your family who can't use the built-in uh, video tools on those operating systems so it's free I don't really need to explain it it looks similar to FaceTime for iPhone users but it's not so don't be mistaken 
Finally, I want to add in a quick bonus one. If you have an Amazon Echo Show, you can actually video call people. So obviously they need to have an Echo Show or a iPhone, iPad or Android device that has a working camera on. I can call my Echo Show from my iPhone, face call it, video call it, and I can see them on here. They can see me on there. And this is quite a good way to make use of the good technology that Amazon has brought out, especially with the system so you can use that it's good for family members because a lot of my family members do have an echo now and don't worry if you if they don't have an echo show because they might only just have the standard dock speaker you can audio call them through that as well so if they have an internet connection and they should do if they have an echo device then you can call them through voice as well thanks so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video see you in another one soon stay safe